Hey, welcome to Al Azar our, our time. Thank you for being here. Uh, today we have an artist. Uh, yes, so I just grew up drawing. Uh, I I don't remember a time when I wasn't drawing, um, and I'm not sure what brought it about, but it's always been my main creative expression, visual art. Um, I just had a chalkboard when I was young, and I would stand in my diaper and draw, and my parents always encouraged it. They listened to classical music and took me to museums and encouraged any artistic expression, so um, they were very supportive in that. Um, I think my parents surrounded me with a lot of people that not, were not necessarily painters and, and um, visual artists, but people who were dancing and singing mm -hmm. um, and doing all kinds of forms of art, acting too. Um, so I was inspired by that. And I also, I th my grandmother was a painter. Uh, I think it's a little bit in my blood. Um, and I always was just drawn to... Um, I guess having the space where you are letting your imagination um, get integrated with with your, um, I guess your conscious and your subconscious are, are interacting. It's like having a little conversation with yourself. Um, so I always liked to, um, I guess, go to that space in my imagination um, from a young age. <laughs> How has your style involved over the years? Can you describe some of the key milestones in your career as an artist? Um, yeah, I mean, just working with people and doing commissions independently um, after doing formal classes in high school and college uh, may just force me to push my style in a different direction because different people are asking different things of me. Um, but I just, I think initially, because I didn't take classes, um, I was just going from probably, I didn't take classes until the end of high school formally. Um, so I was just going off of, uh, I guess, my own creative spirit. Uh, and then I, I got more of the skill set um, and I was able to create more of what I wanted instead of just doing the school environment, like doing what they asked me to do in the school environment and then doing uh, now what people are asking me to do. Um, I'm able to to uh, have a nice uh, fine line between what I want to do and what people want me to do. And I think with oil painting too, it just, it uh, forced me out of my comfort zone and it made me want to experiment with a lot of different um different things like different um, paints and, and different subjects because I was more interested in um, I was more interested in portraits and working with the figure and uh, now I, I do anything. So um, just over time, the more I, uh, I work with different people, I, um, I just integrate whatever I feel like I want to capture. Um, that I'm not able to capture in words if I don't do it in poetry or in some other way. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's, uh, I haven't had any shows of my own or anything like that yet, but I've worked in, in galleries and um, I'm, I'm trying to broaden my connections. So this is great. Um, I, like I said, portraits uh, were one of my main things initially, but um, now I think I'm more, some of my work on my Instagram and the work I've put out recently is more psychedelic or um, uh, trying to, uh, like, sacred geometry and, and patterns and trying to capture more of a metaphysical, uh, more metaphysical perceptions in a more... Uh, modern style and not so realistic 
but um yeah i think i think i'm inspired my a lot of music inspires me actually uh in different art forms and um i feel like artists are kind of at the door of of uh trying to they they have the key right there at the door to uh, the metaphysical and physical um and they're they're able to bring that through um and the things that you you can't capture in words um inspire me so i try to try to bring that through no matter if it's realistic or if it's if it's a little bit um a little bit more modern and not so not so realistic so the next question is related with this that you say do do you believe that art has a spiritual dimension or significance if so how does this influence your work and fashion art be? yes definitely i think uh that has a huge impact on me and of course i'm young but the older i've gotten the more it has an impact because when you're younger you're just trying to draw i guess and you don't realize how significant creating can be and um yeah i think i think the the older i get the more it's uh, therapeutic for me and it's more of a transformative practice like it's it's actually a spiritual practice too it can be because you're taking uh an emotional experience or a perception that you have and then you're you're making something out of it so you're transforming some energy and i think that can come across and inspire people and um it kind of keeps me going i think it's my my main passion and i feel like i'm required <laughs> to do it somehow so yes it is very spiritual for me beautiful thank you uh which artists books or movies have been the most inspirational to you and your work yeah so um i mean i love all the great artists um my dad has a lot of rembrandt books around and van gogh and um da vinci and uh william blake actually his art and his writing um and that style and a lot of musicians um uh the doors <laughs> uh tool is a band that i like um and yeah i find a lot of inspiration everywhere or i try to try to find a lot of inspiration everywhere so um not just from from other artists but from wherever i go or whoever i talk to as well nice yeah, very good to say the doors is a really old uh, group but it's very nice. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I love the doors. One of my favorite. Oh, and Alex Gray too, a recent artist. He's not oh. not an older artist, but yeah, I love his work. Beautiful. He does cool uh cover art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to the creative process. If you have something to say about it, for example, the techniques and the mediums that you use mostly. What mediums do you prefer to work with and why? Mm -hmm. um well i i mostly draw um i use pencil pen charcoal i've been getting into red uh red charcoal recently it's really nice on tan paper um and uh, oil painting when i have the time but that's a more extreme process <laughs> um and uh oil is my favorite i would say I don't have a studio of my own. My anywhere I am is my studio, so my house right now. Um but yeah, um and I don't work that large scale usually. Um usually just a notepad or a small canvas. In your process of creativity, how do you approach starting a new piece and what does your creative process look like? Uh yes, so I do, I do like to listen to music sometimes, but I think it's important to self-reflect before you start creating. And usually it's like a a meditation before I get inspired because it feels like you have to be uh almost ready for whatever it is to come through you um and ready to capture it on paper. Uh because it doesn't feel like I'm I'm really sitting there and creating it like from scratch it feels like it's kind of coming through me so i have to be open to that um so it's not not on all days that you find inspiration or on the same level of inspiration on all days but so it varies um 
but yeah, I think it's, it's like a conversation with yourself. So I, I, like I said before, so it's, um, I try to, uh, just listen to whatever comes up in myself and, uh, try to capture it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank uh, you. <laughs> and let's pass to the next sequence. I've never had a showcase, just the Instagram account. That's my, my main way of getting my art out um, and just independent commissions. But I've, I've been a gallery attendant and um, I've helped with curation and events set up, just never my own work, unfortunately. Okay. okay. So I hope you can do it. <laughs> yes, me too. That's my dream. Yes. Um, let's say... Um, I mean, I would say just keep doing what you love. And um, if it's, if it's uh, something that you put a lot of energy into, then hopefully you can get a lot of energy out of it. And um, I would say whatever, whatever gets you, gets you to that place, whatever gets you in the zone or the flow, as people like to say now. Um, and uh, even if it doesn't bring you monetary, um, value or, or joy a lot of the time um you, if you put enough into it i think it's if it's for you and you get something out of it then you're getting something out of it um and i guess share it with people too because it brings a lot of people uh inspiration and i think people take a lot more from art than than um, the average artist thinks that they do but you can stumble upon a painting and it can change your day so put it out there um, and yeah, keep trying to capture uh, whatever it is that you're trying to capture that you can't say in words because it's it's often very valuable. That is really beautiful. Thank you. Uh, my favorite word, word in English, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. Okay, so for your future project, uh, what project or themes are are you excited to explore in the future? Are there any upcoming exhibitions you you, say you don't know, or collaborations we should look out for? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm doing some personal commissions right now for people, but I'm also going to do some illustration for a children's book. And I'm not sure when that's going to be published, but I'm working with a woman um, who lives in, in um, Carmel, California. Yeah. And so that should be that should be fun. There'll be some otters that I'll be drawing um, for children. And um, I worked with Arthur Buckner, who's uh, an artist in Ithaca, New York, which is where I go to school right now. I'll be graduating next semester. Um, but I'll probably see him next semester as well. And he was doing exhibitions at the gallery I was working at. Um, so I'll hopefully continue to work with him because I took a lot of inspiration from, from his work too. And to just get my art out there as much as possible. Sorry. <laughs> great, great. Yes, I discovered your art because I saw it in Peter Engel YouTube uh, videos. And I said, wow. Nice. Nice. Uh, so I, I still contact this artist. Yes, I'd love to. All of the topics, a lot of the art that he has gotten from me, actually, he didn't ask me to do that specifically. It just aligned perfectly with the topics. So it's worked out very nicely. Ah, great. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yes, and he make a good uh, promotions of your art. <laughs> <Actually>. yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm happy, happy people can see it and that it helps, um, helps um, correlate the ideas visually. Okay, great. Thank you, Livia. We are coming to an end. Uh, I don't know if you want to add something, but well, we, I want to ask you how you will describe your work in five, word for six, seven, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I would say 
I'm going to use a few different, I'm going to use two different um, descriptions because some of my work is more like an inner world, like a fairy tale, and it's more psychedelic. And then uh, the other side of my work is more uh, realistic, and I think it captures more um, the inner world externally, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I would just say visit Peter Ingalls' YouTube and my Instagram if you need commissions. Um, and I'll, I'll keep, um, keep letting people know what I'm doing. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, and we appreciate your time and that you came, you accept our invitation to the channel. Yes, uh, thank you. <laughs> so, it was a pleasure to meet you. The same. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.